Hi, I'm Ronald from Meteoron LLC and DLX Plugins, and today I'm going to show you the click to share block that comes included with highlight and share. So let's go ahead and insert the click to share block. I'm going to create a new paragraph, and you can either use the block inserter and type in click to share, or you can use a slash command, which is faster, and just type in slash click, and then you'll be taken to the block, or you can input your paragraph text. In the next section, I'll show you some of the more advanced features of the block, so you can customize it as much as you like. One of the first things you might notice is that there are paragraph blocks inside of the click to share block. And you can see this by uh, hovering over the paragraph. If you ever need to select the actual block itself for the block options, you just click on click to share, just like that. Next, I'd like to show you how to customize what is shared out. You can see, for example, that this has two paragraphs, but say, for example, I only want to share the first one, but I have both paragraphs in the quote. I can just click on this Customize the Share Quote button and paste in what I'd like to share. And then that will be what is shared out on the front end. Let's move on to the Click to Share settings in the sidebar. You can show the Click to Share text or not. So I'll toggle that off real quick. And then you can show or hide the share icon. You can make the icon larger or smaller. And you can also customize what is in the click to share text. So for example, if I want to use share this, I can do that. Let's move on to the background settings. Let's switch over to the background types. There are three types of backgrounds you can select, solid, gradient, or an image. And let's go ahead and change the solid background color to purple. And then change the hover color over to purple also, just a little bit darker. And you can adjust the rest of the colors in this colors tab. Let's move on to gradients. So uh, gradients, you can define a background and a hover gradient. And there's also a sync gradients icon so that if you do sync them together, they both change at once. And there's also a generate random gradient item here. And we can just click on uh, generate until we find one we really like. So let's go ahead and stick with this pink one for now. And then lastly, you can set a background image. So let me show you how that would look. So I'm just gonna go into my media library. I'm gonna select kind of a darker image. And it's kind of like a, a bluish. And then I can also change the background color behind it. Let's say, let's go to red. And then I can change the opacity and then it'll slowly kind of fade over to red. And you can even do this for the hover effect. You can make it even a darker, uh, darker reddish tint to it. So let's go back to solid and I'll walk you through the rest of the color settings. So each one of these has a regular color and a hover color. So since this block is designed to be clickable, um, the entire block can change um, once you click on it or hover over it. So let's go ahead and change the text color to white. And I'm gonna change the hover color to white too. And thankfully you only have to do this once. So um, when you're designing your block, you can have a lot of control over how it looks. And then finally, we're going to change the icon color. So everything is just white except for the purple background that changes a little bit once you hover over it. So let's move on to typography. Let's switch over to fonts and typography. You have two typography options here. You have the quote typography and then the share text about typography. So let's go ahead and modify the quote. And we can select between several system fonts. There's also several uh, Google fonts that you can choose as well. Uh, let's go with Carla, for example. Uh, you can change it to uppercase, lowercase, um, or even uh, just regular. And then you can adjust the font size between uh, pixels, M's, and REMs. Uh, you can change the font weight. So for example, you want it a little bit bolder. You could do that. Let me close that for a second. And then you can also adjust the line height. And uh, let letter spacing as well. So you could do that for both. Uh, types. So if I want to customize the click to share text, I can change it to Lotto, for example. I can increase it, increase the font size. 
And say, for example, I want to give it a little bit of letter spacing. I can just do uh, something like that. So those are the typography settings. And now let's move on to spacing and borders. When it comes to spacing and borders, it's recommended to be at the center layout, but you can also choose between a wide and a full width. But let's go ahead and just keep it at center. Oh, excuse me, when I clicked that, it went to none. And let's go down to spacing and borders. And you can see it's there's a maximum width. And right now it's set up to 82% of the screen. And that might be too large depending on how large the screen is. So let's go ahead and change it from percentages to pixels. And I'm going to say I only want this uh, click to share item to be 600 pixels wide. And then I can, I can do the inner padding, which is the padding right here. So if I have the links selected, all the paddings change at once, and I can change it to 40, for example, or maybe that's a little bit too much. I like the top padding, but I don't like the right padding. I can change that to back to 20, and then change the left back to 20. So now I got 40 pixels on the top and 40 pixels on the bottom. As far as the outer margin, you can see that the block is flush with the paragraph text. We can go ahead and give it some margin. And let's say, let's give it, uh, let's unlink it, let's give it 20 pixels top margin and 20 pixels bottom margin. And then let's just give it like a little bit of a border radius, like very small, like five pixels wide. And um, finally, there's a border color and border color hover over here for convenience, because you do set the border where it's here. Uh, we could turn it off uh, by setting it to zero. And lastly, I want to cover these responsive options that you probably have seen at the very top. There's a picture of desktop, tablet, and mobile. So say, for example, you're on a tablet, and you would like to adjust some of these settings. Uh, you can click on the block, and you can change the quote typography. You can change the spacing for each item. It looks like Carla was lost for a second there uh, when I switched over. And if this uh, top padding is too high for tablet and you want to make it 20, for example, uh, you can. And you can adjust the outer margin as well if it's a little bit too high for tablet. So let's change the outer margin to 10. And then finally, when you go down to mobile, uh, I lost the font again. <laughs> but uh, say, for example, you want this click to share size to be a lot smaller, so we can make it like 18. And then uh, then we should be able to adjust the rest of it as well. So that is the tablet and the desktop views. Lastly, for the block editor, I would like to go over presets. So say, for example, you enter a brand new click to share block. And you typed in some text. There is some text. But I want it to look like the one below it without having to reconfigure everything from scratch. So what you can do is you can go into the block where you have the layout just the way you want it. Uh, click on the presets. And you'll see there are six selected presets here. Um, I can choose between purple, light, pink, for example. But I can also save a new preset. So I'm just going to save it based on the current settings that I have. And I'm going to call it my purple. Save that preset, and you'll see it down below with a preview of it. Then you can click on the block above it, go to the preset screen, and then just click on the My Purple preset. And now you have an exact copy of the block you have below. So presets are very powerful. If you need to edit the preset, for example, like change the name, you can do that as well. So I'm going to change this name to My Purple, you know, whatever. Or you can also remove the preset and then exit edit mode. So those are presets. Final thing I would like to show you is the block editor settings in the admin panel. So you can enable blocks or not. If you do not use the click to share block, you can disable this with one click. You can also enable Adobe fonts. I showed you in the typography settings that you could adjust the fonts uh, to several Google fonts and some regular fonts. And if you have Adobe fonts, 
or Adobe Creator Cloud account, you have access to Adobe Fonts. So you can enable these into your project ID that you created and then refresh the fonts and then they'll show up in the typography settings for the block. So you can use Adobe Fonts in your click to share block. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching.